Today we're going to be making this um, awesome card and it's um, it's called a bridge card and it folds up like this and you put it in your envelope like that and then when the recipient gets it they just kind of open it up and these little ladybugs are flying these two ladybugs are flying in midair and you can't really see them because there's a, just a small strip of uh, clear window sheet that's that's keeping them in the air <laughs> so but I thought this was a cute idea and so let's get started now I'll give dimensions as we go along so everybody can participate um, go ahead and get this stuff out of here too might as well get all your goodies out of your envelope okay so we'll start with um, the stamping we have a couple of little um, labels from the messages dies and those dies are retiring April 30th so or right around April 30th or 1st of May so be sure to pick those up before they're gone and you'll these these three pieces of window sheet are cut don't don't lose those I think I'm gonna put those back in my envelope because they are clear and they would be so easy to lose in this mess of a desk I call my craft desk <laughs> so putting all this over here these we're gonna be punching later so they don't need to be stamped so these two little strips of paper here and our sentiment which says my friend and then on the back if you want to stamp anything there you can I haven't stamped anything I might add something later uh, with a panel um, so you can either stamp on this or you can add a panel whichever you want to do so I started out with a thick basic white four and a quarter by seven and a half and I scored it at one and a quarter one and one quarter <laughs> one and one quarter inches then I flipped it over I turned it over and scored it at one and one quarter inches on this side then I flipped it over and I scored it at two and one quarter inches turned it over and scored it at two and one quarter inches so um, the reason I do that is because the way you score it you fold it these are folded different like this one's folded at this angle this one's folded at that angle so that's why I bothered to score it one and a quarter on this side and then two and a quarter on this side so the side that I scored two and a quarter we are going to um, stamp on the other side so the side that has like the little bump or tre uh, has like a little I don't know <laughs> what it but I scored it on this side so the opposite side is what we're going to stamp on and we'll be stamping all these little flowers and uh, this one here the um, the side that I that I scored on now this one I have two pieces basic white no let's see did I use basic white or did I use I use thick basic white because I wanted it to have lots of nice body so the one is a little bit bigger so the bigger one is three and a half by three quarters so three and a half by three quarters and I scored it at a quarter of an inch on both sides oh wait I know <laughs> the smaller one the smaller one is three and a half by three quarters and I scored it at a quarter of an inch okay the larger one is three and three quarters just a quarter bigger three and three quarters by three quarters and I scored it at three eighths so three eighths and three eighths on each side so the side that I scored on we're gonna stamp the side that I didn't score on here 
we're going to stamp. So you'll want to get your little three flowers here, three flower stamp. And while we're in here, let's just go ahead and grab the Hi Friend stamp. My friend, not Hi Friend, my friend. <laughs> and put it somewhere where it's not going to get... Uh, Oh, and you know what? We need also the little, the little dots. These, the the dots on the, we're gonna need that stamp too. So, let's put that over there. I'm just putting it on my ink. We need so saffron ink and moment, uh, tuxedo memento black. So we'll start with our so saffron. And I'm going to use a D block. I love the Stampin' Up blocks because they have a little ridge here. And this is the D one. So uh, love, love that it's all there for you. And I'm going to also use this pad that came with my Stamparatus. Now my Stamparatus, I'll be dragging that out in a minute, but um, I got a deluxe foam pad for my Stamparatus. So this one that came with it, I use when I do stamping with my photopolymer stamps because they need a little cushion. They need a little help. And we're willing to give it to them. Now, um, you may or may not want to do this. Um, I am going to take some tape this is Scotch removable tape. And I'm going to tape here over this crease where the crease begins, the second one. And it's about a five inch piece. And I'm using removable because I don't want it to damage my cardstock. If you don't have removable, then what you can use is just a piece of scratch paper of any sort. I'm looking around for some scratch paper that you could use just to give you an idea. When you're stamping you could just put a piece of scratch paper there on each side to cover up. You don't want to stamp on this um, side panel just the center here. Okay, so this is going to make more sense when we start stamping. I'm going to get my So Saffron and I'm going to, I'll use this underneath because you do want something underneath when you're stamping. And this is what I call fun stamping where you just, you just stamp. Um, and you're going to turn your and be sure you get lots of ink and give it time to press straight down and give it time to do its thing. Don't get in a hurry like me. Press it down. Ink it up good. Press it down firm. So you, with the photopolymer, you can actually see through. So you can see if you're pressing down all the way and I'm just going in a pattern from the inside towards the out. That's the best way to do it. And I'm turning this because I want to make sure that I don't have the same image that it, that it looks good. It doesn't look like I just did the same stamping, same stamping. And, oops, I did a little bit over, but that's okay because that's going to be covered up by... Now let me move my paper down here, my scratch paper, and catch that stuff. Now this at the bottom isn't going to show, but oops, now that one I didn't get a full 
That's definitely going to be my bottom <laughs> because I messed up. That's what I get for talking instead of stamping. So now these two pieces, I'm just going to, these don't matter. I'm just going to stamp. They don't, they don't really show that much, but it's kind of fun to have them stamped. And this is, this is what I call fun stamping. So now if you want to, you can go ahead and stamp the My Friend in real red, or you can drag out your Stamparatus and see if you can do it that way. I give you two labels, you only need the one. So if you mess up, you still have a chance to redeem yourself. Be sure, let's see, I'm gonna dry this off. Now, um, yeah, I think I will go ahead and do that with my Stamparatus, the, the My Friend with the Stamparatus. So that way I get it perfect. Now I'm going to remove this, throw this in the trash because I don't want to get ink on my fingers or anywhere else. And I did go over a little there, but that'll be covered up. So I'm not worried. No worries. Um, okay, so I stamped that, I stamped that. Um, so I guess I'm supposed to punch four black, four wings and stamp with black. So we're going to do our wings with red and we're going to punch four wings. So here's our wing and we're going to start on the right side and move over. So there's one wing. This gets a little tricky. Two wings. Three wings. And four wings. Now I'm going to save this because it is going to be my template. So here's my four wings. And now I'm going to bring out my stamp radis. And you can see where I did this before. I still have the dots there. So um, take my Knight of Navy. It's going to be using. Um, let me get this out here. I'm going to be using the black. So I had to transfer some of these stamps to the another color. All right. So what I did is I stamped there, but I stamped. Uh, so I, I since I used that, I'm gonna gonna mark that so I know that that's not the one I want to use. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing kind of going that way and do I want to do it that way or do I want to do it this way let's do it that way so basically I'm going to stamp and then I'm going to use that image to place this here it will all make sense here in a minute so kind of state straighten it up maybe I'll put it up here so it's kind of like a bow I'm going to ink those up now with Memento Tuxedo Black. There we go. And now this is my template. So I know that now I can put this here with these. And I know that when I put this here, that's I'm going to stamp those little dots where I want them. I want it over a little bit so that they're even. So this is a good way to, if you have several. Now I do want this to kind of stay in place. So I'm going to put just a little bit. I'm just touching this there. So 
just a little dot and then maybe do this so that it's not too sticky. Okay, so now I know where those dots are going to stamp. So I'm going to ink this up again. And if, you, if you're using this for the first time, you might have to really like kind of like season your stamp. You might have to do this several times to get a nice rich dot because it really makes a difference if your dots are nice and rich and, and black for the contrast look. So, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't I just go for it? All right, so that's one. And I'm gonna take a, my, take your pick tool and lift that out gently. And now I just put another one in there that I cut. This is a great technique if you are gonna be doing a lot the same kind of thing. You can also do it with die cuts. If you die cut, you can make a template from your die cut and do the same thing. One more for a good measure. All right, so now we've got two more to go. And this ladybug stamp and punch is just adorable. I wasn't real sure about it. It was real popular though, so I thought well, I better do a class on it. Everybody likes it and it is being carried over in the 2022-2023 Stampin' Up! catalog. So I'll get some use out of it. So I'm glad I got it though, because now I really love it. It's just darling. It's how it is sometimes with stamp sets. You you kind of, eh, I'm not so sure about that. And then you use them and you realize how much you really like it and how fun it is to play with. Okay, I think one more. Have I been doing like three? Okay, you guys may not be as picky as me, <laughs> but I like my dots to be nice and dark for the contrast. So I'll clean this off here. I actually had to write down, there's a lot of steps to this, so I actually had to write down what I'm going to do uh, on my list so that I don't, I don't get ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, so um, punch four bodies. That would be the black. Um, maybe before we do that though, we'll just go ahead and finish our stamping and get our four by six piece of window sheet. And I got a new piece of window sheet because the other one was looking kind of sorry. Get my, my friend, get my friend here and pick that up and make sure that plastics in the corner. Now this is going to be stamped with real red ink. So grab your real red and stamp it on your window sheet. And then um, I keep a little piece of scratch paper to um, get, where's my little <laughs> Oh no, I always lose something, don't I? So here's my little, and you can tell there's kind of a nice front and then the back, the front has nice beveled edges where the back is kind of jagged. And that's from the messages dies. So now I'm just gonna slide this in here under the plastic, line it up, line up my friend, remove the plastic, put down this to hold that in place and ink this up again and it should stamp exactly where I want it and it did yay my friend it kind of smeared I'm thinking maybe maybe yeah, I had too much ink on there so you know what I'm, I'm just gonna do that again because you guys are 
understanding. So I'll bring my plastic back in and because it's gone, I'm going to put it right in the corner, I know that my stamp is going to still stamp at the same spot. I'm going to line this up again. Hopefully this time I won't over ink because then it gets, especially with these photopolymer stamps, if you give it too much ink, you might it's better to go light and then heavy. I mean, several light coats instead of one heavy coat. Well, that looks better. The Y is still kind of funky looking, but when it dries, it should be better. So that's why I give you two. <laughs> you could always cut a little piece of white cardstock if you run out of options here. Okay. Um, so I'm clean that stamp off and if, if you wanted to do any stamping on the back, uh, congratulations or birthday or thinking of you or whatever, this would be the time to go ahead and stamp on the back. I'm going to add a, pa a panel later probably when I find out which what kind of card this is going to be. Uh, but if you're going to stamp, this would be the time to stamp on the back, only on this one section here. Okay? But I'm not going to do that. So, done with my stamping. Put all my inkies away. Get some stuff out of the, the way here. Now I think we will bring in our black. Um, cardstock, and I, I don't know if I told you guys the sizes of these cardstocks, both the black and the red are two and a quarter by eight and a half. But you can see, I didn't really use all that, but it was nice to have it to hold as I'm putting it in the inside here. So, okay, so let's get on with our punching our bodies. And this time we're going to feed it in this way. Make sure you have a complete body, that it's not half a body. And punch. And then you're going to pull it out and slide it down. Complete body and punch. We're just going to keep on going. Oops, that guy, he wanted to jump off in the floor. And one more. Come on, here you go. All right, there's our four bodies. We've got bodies all everywhere here. <laughs> this is kind of fun because you don't need any um, die cutting for this card. You just, your little punch does it all. So we can put these on with glue. Now I put glue right here and then in here. I stay away from the outside of the wings because they, they extend over the body. So for these guys, I did little dots of glue across the top and then kind of like a T, a T shape. I'll just put it up there for you to see. And it goes right here behind its, kind of behind its neck. Let that one, so we're just going to do all of these. Same thing. Little, and I think I got a little heavy there. Hopefully, if you have to, you can always wipe some of it off. You don't want it to ooze. But if it does, you can always take an eraser, a clean eraser, or your adhesive eraser and erase it off. If your body, if you get, if your bodies get a little rough, take a really fine, extra fine nail and you can just um, make them smooth. <laughs> make them smooth. I'm going to try to stay in camera here for you. And there we go. 
and I have to show you oops that I'm just using an an old empty ribbon holder for my multi glue to keep it so it's always standing up and easy to grab and it's free and it recycles so it's good for the earth it's good for my pocketbook because I don't have to pay anything extra for it and it's just so handy to have I love it when I figure things out like that <laughs> sometimes it takes a while but I eventually do now I'm going to take my finger now and just kind of wipe that excess away and I did forget to clean off my plastic, so I'm going to clean that off and put it away before it gets ink on something. And of course, when I use ink, I always get sticky fingers. All right, so I punched my four bodies, um, put on the one by four inch DSP. Okay, so let's just do our DSPs. So you have this. This is what you have. So this DSP is um, one by four. So one by four. And this DSP, again, there's two pieces, one by four, comes from the uh, Sunshine and Rainbows, which was a celebration item. It's no longer available, but if you have some hanging around, that's great. Otherwise, you can use something else. And then this is So Saffron cardstock, and it is um, one and one and one eighth by four and one eighth so just an eighth bigger so one and one eighth by four and one eighths so we're going to put these on that and again i think i'll use glue because glue is forgiving and it gives me time to recover any mistakes that i make which i do so and it looks like it's a sixteenth of an inch all around Let me get that up there. Sixteenth of an inch all around. Now this one, same thing. Sixteenth of an inch all around. This over here a little closer. This is a little more time consuming. Everything is cut for you though, so it's it's kind of fun fun card making when everything is made. All you have to do is put it together. Now this glue again on my fingers. So now we're going to have a piece of basic white that is, um, no, this is thick basic white. I wish I could keep, get, get, keep, get, keep that straight. So um, this is for the bridge, like right here. So it is, um, one and a quarter by five and a half. Correct? Let me see. Five and a half by one and a quarter. On top of that is going to be a piece of so saffron that is one and one eighths by five and three eighths, just an eighth of an inch smaller. Okay, so we're going to put that on with some glue. So saffron, one and one eighths by five and three eighths. And it's going to go right here. Now we have a piece of DSP that is one by five and a quarter. Just another eighth of an inch smaller. One by five and a quarter. So I'll put that on. Getting all artistic with my glue here. All right, I think we're ready to put it together. Uh, 
So let's get this here. We're going to fold this towards us and fold this one towards us. Let's just get our bone folder and crease this like this. So this is what we have. All right, and then this one we're going to fold the opposite way increase that so this is what we end up with so fold and then fold back and like I said I'm gonna cover that little inky spot up so no worries but before I do that I'm going to get my make sure I do this correctly yeah okay so the smaller the smaller of these, put them together, it's shorter. It's a quarter of an inch shorter. We're gonna work with the shorter one right now. Okay, so grab the shorter one. You see where you've scored or where I have scored? We're going to fold that quarter inch back, quarter inch back. And we're gonna put that right there, just like that. And I still have sticky fingers, so <laughs> wipe my fingers again. Um, I don't remember how I did this. I think I did it with glue. So let's do that. Do I do I want to do glue? Glue is so messy. Let's do let's do glue dots. <laughs> So I'm going to do two glue dots, one and two. And you twist away, don't pull, twist. Okay, so I've got one, two glue dots right here. So I want to put this, hmm, I'm going to put it down here at the bottom in this crease is where it ends. I'm going to fold that over just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Two glue dots. I'm out of camera, aren't I? Twist. Another glue dot. Twist. What? Twist. <laughs> Come on. Be sure that you your glue dot is covered up. There we go. Okay, so now I have it along the bottom. I've got this folded this this way. And I'm just going to fold this one over. Okay, so now I have I'm going to fold it back and forth so that it's nice and creased. So this is what I have here at the bottom. Now I'm going to get out one because I don't want to lose any of them. I'm only going to get out one of the uh, window sheet and that window sheet is um, 3 8 inch wide by 4 inches long. So 3 8 inches by 4. It's kind of it's kind of hard. So. Um, this one, this little guy is going to go there. So we want him or her. She's kind of flying up, as you can see, flying up. So let's put some glue dots on here. I'm going to put one and two, mm, three, is three, three, I think I can do three if they're real close together. Okay, so I've got three. I'm gonna slide this under here. And get my little bug, so I've got 
three glue dots there and this is about a half an inch from the top of the uh, card base and I'm just gonna put this one like right there near near the crease but not on the crease okay so it's longer than it needs to be so I'm going to trim it it's sticking out down here and I want this to be almost to the top of the the card so that's going to kind of tell me where I need to trim it and I think right about there so I cut off about a half an inch or so that I that might be not enough let me see yeah, I'm going to cut off just a little bit more I don't want it to show at the bottom all right so that's that whoops <laughs> that's going to go there we're going to use glue dots again but we're going to use them at the other end we're going to put two glue dots down here at the end close together right next to each other and you're going to put it this time uh, you're going to put them facing up this way okay so that way when I put my little ladybug in place I can I think I'll use my this to, to push it and so there's my ladybug and my my strip is straight and then I'm just gonna push it down right there so now I have this little ladybug flying okay that's that's level one now we're gonna do level two which is the same thing uh, fold away get a couple of glue dots on the um, flap and put it here at the edge of this so put it here at the edge make sure it's level here at the bottom and you're going to push it against the side like that so that's what it looks like <laughs> and I hope this is not confusing okay so two glue dots one on each end twist away you're going to put it up against that edge and then push it against the side so you're basically just building layers and I'm going to do this to make sure that it's nice and it's going to fold up nicely now the next ladybug is going to go over here like this below that one they don't touch so I'm going to get another plastic 3 8 by 4 inch piece of window sheet I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to put um, I think three glue, glue dots in a row one two three now this time it's going to go on the second but for for just purposes of of figuring out where to put it um, so I, I stuck that on my back of my ladybug I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna see how much I need to trim off here at the bottom I hope I'm in camera I'll bring it up a little bit so that's about where I want my ladybug to fly I don't want her to be interfering with the other one so I'm going to mark that and then cut a little bit 
more than I needed to just to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to put three three glue dots here. Or maybe just two. I think I'll just put two. One twist, two twist. Okay, so this time it's going to go underneath the second one. So I'm going to put this here under the second one. Slide that there. That's where I want my ladybug. And I can see that I might have gone a little too high with my glue dots. I put one here lower. Or I might have cut off a little bit too much. Okay, so here we go, ladybug right there. So I'm going to pinch that together. So now I have my two flying ladybugs. <laughs> now I'm ready to put on my bridge, which is here, but I have to put these on first. If I don't put these on first, I'm going to cry. So I'm definitely going to put these on first. These are going to go on the sides. Like so. It looks like there's a eighth of a sixteenth of an inch all around on the sides. I hope that I'm not confusing you with this ladybugs, but if there, it's really, it might be more the way I'm describing it than it is the actual way I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. This is going to go here. So, I'm going to put glue I'm gonna, I think I might just kind of mark. I don't know how I can mark it. I don't have a pen or pencil. Um, I just, I'll, I guess I'll put my fingernail there. <laughs> Get my, my glue ready. Okay. So I'm put my fingernail there. So I don't want it to go past my fingernail. And that, that's wonky. I must have pushed it before it dried. Oh goodness, and now it's dried. Mm. <laughs> I think it's just going to be wonky. <laughs> oh well. It's not that noticeable. Okay, so there's my fingernail. I'm not going to put any glue past my fingernail. Try to get in camera, match up my sides. I'm just going to hold that there for a good while, while it dries. It, it oozed a little, so I'll just wipe it. Okay, and now we're going to do this side here. It's best to do it while it's closed. So there's my fingernail. And there's my glue. Kind of like doing this, <laughs> trying to hold that flat back. Okay. Yeah, hold that flap in place. Make sure it's even on the sides. And be sure to throw your plastic in the trash because you don't want it to your pets or any children to get that clear plastic in their throat because it could 
it could really hurt them. You could choke on them. Okay, the next is the last piece here. Another four by three eighths inch. I'm gonna put um, one, two, three, real close together. And now this one is gonna be kind of flying kind of like this. Like that. And its wing is gonna hang over the side. So there we go. This wing is gonna kind of hang over the side there. So I'm gonna cut my plastic and then I'm going to cut maybe another eighth of an inch off so it's not going to show. Throw that in the trash. Sure. Okay. Put my two glue dots. One on the very end and one next to it twist away. So here's my two glue dots. And remember I want my wing to kind of be uh, to the side. And oops. <laughs> I'm going to bring this in here to give me something to push up on and squeeze that. Alright, so there we go. There's three. This guy ne might need to come over a little bit. Now lastly, this one's easier. <laughs> He's just gonna go on the front right there with some glue dots. But be sure you put them down at the bottom part of the bug so that it's not hanging over. You don't want any where the wing is outside there. So there's my fourth ladybug. Now over here for the banner, let's see, I took a piece of Coastal Cabana, 3 8 inches by 4, and then I put some little, um, just cut some little fl banner flag there. And I, I, before I did that, I scored it at one and three quarters. So this was three eighths by four, scored at one and three quarters. And then I put the little banner ends and made this, which is gonna go right here. And I think I put a glue dot to keep it closed. I put a glue dot, look at this tail I've got. Let me cut, let me cut that tail off. So I have the um, glue dot there to hold that shut. And then I'm going to glue dot that to the front. Well, we're using a lot of glue dots today. But glue, glue dots are easy to work with because they're instant sticky. That's just going to go kind of right here. Um, like that. And then this is going to go on the front with glue dots. So I'll put a couple of glue dots in the center on the back and twist again, always twisting. And then I'm going to put this kind of right here. It's a little bit in a different spot. This one's further over. And, but this one, uh, so that makes it a little different looking, but I think it's still, it's still, um, a cute card. <laughs> I think we'll still, we'll take it. Um, I could move it over, but I'm not going to. It's, it looks fine. It looks fine. Um, except this is a little... Not level. <laughs> All right, so there's our card. 
Um, this is our bridge card and it's project number two in the Hello Ladybugs. So this is, um, so be sure to watch for um, project number three. I'll be doing that next. All right, well, thanks for joining me and um, I hope everyone has a great evening and I'll see everyone tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.